Aleluya. 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 Rimo haimu. Aleluya. Eh, rio ambacho venda si ateta si akuluma. Eh, abalavula eh si akuluma. What else? On sprat musne. Eh, but when I start prating, it gets finished. And also when I start tating, it also gets finished quickly. Hallelujah. Let me greet you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The one yesterday, today, and forevermore. Let me just give you the announcements. Uh, also let me welcome those who are watching online uh, on, on our YouTube channel. Um, we are in the house of God. Hallelujah. The announcements, take note, always wear your mask. We are still uh, under the pandemic. Please do not, do not uh, take it away. I know it's, it's, it's giving me a challenge personally. It suffocates me. And thank God today, uh, Pastor uh, Naledi allowed me to only have a mic instead of a, <laughs> a, a mask. However, we must wear the mask every time. Make sure that you sanitize, wash your hands, be it in the house of God, wherever you are. It is a good thing to do. Maintain at all time your distance, your social distance. Sometimes, you know, we, I know that in a church like this, we normally want to say, please, let's just give each other some hugs. For now, and still further notice, I'm length. Hallelujah. And don't forget to complete your little uh, paper at the, at the entrance. Uh, it is a good thing to do. We also have some uh, project in the house of God, the Hope Project. And I know, you know, some of us, we call it hashtag feed someone hashtag help someone um, the pandem pandemic has given us a tough 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 situation in most families there's nothing on the table so if you have something please put it on their table um, I'm talking about this last week Sunday Saturday, Friday we had a, a situation somewhere in Atrechville where a man just went into the house Beat his wife, killed that woman, went out, bought a five liter petrol, came back thinking that the kids were still in the shack, burned the, um, the shack, and unfortunately, fortunately, the kids were already taken out of the shack. When we went there with Pastor Komoto, we found there was nothing. There's nothing. So, have that heart to give, God will reward you. Hear me, God will reward you. Hold it center. If you have situation in your family, in your workplace, and you cannot handle it, be it abuse, emotionally or otherwise, this church has got all those resources to assist you. Next week, it will be the 29th um, of November. We are going to have a combined service right here. That will be M-Connect and Shining Light. All of us and the times is going to be starting at in, uh, 9 o'clock, right here. 9 o'clock, right here. So if you are used to come at 10, please change your watch. 9 o'clock, we are all going to be here, and it's going to be lit. I read it somewhere. When they want to make it good, they say it's going to be lit. So it's going to be lit. Can you repeat the song that you were singing here when I was standing up before the, the lady? When I was stepping in, I saw. Ah. <clears throat> Can I, we just rise up on our feet and sing this song a little bit? Uh, I may not know its meaning uh, to the fullest, but I understand it. I know Pastor Ben, you don't hear, but you will hear it. The Holy Spirit will shall interpret to you. Just for one minute, and then we are going to the to service.
so much. Uh, I just want to thank my worship team as they are going to take their seats. Let's get into the word of God this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's clap hands for the worship team. Let's clap hands for the worship team. You know, I grew up singing while I was still young. And I still, uh, my wife is still singing. I, my, my voice is gone. And every time when we were singing, people will look at us, you know. They will look at us, and they will not look at those who are playing these instruments. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, these people who are playing there, they will look at me. But as time grows, goes on, as I was uh, growing, uh, I realized that I cannot sing better if these people are not playing. And every time when I stand in front of the, them, I will give a space so that even the TV people should also concentrate on them. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time when I stand before the church to sing. I will make sure that I don't obstruct any of these people who are sick. I wanted the church to see that I cannot be doing this alone. This is the collective. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Worship God. Even when it is so hard to do so. That's what I got last week Sunday. Even when it is difficult. When it is difficult. Pastor Ben, can you stand up? And please take a few steps to the front. You see, worship God even if you walk like that. Come, 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 come. You see, and this is our brother, Pastor Ben. Agri, you have last saw him when? Some months ago. Agri, you are still serving God, even in this situation. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Even when it is hard to do so, when we were visiting him, and maybe before we can even visit him, he will be sending us scriptures. Hallelujah. He will be sending us scriptures. And I will say, wow, it is so painful to look at that man. He could not walk. Uh, you know, he will just you know, move around, but the Bible is always next to him. Even when it is difficult to do so, when you are a father who is supposed to provide and you cannot, but you worship God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's move over today to this uh, today's message. Worshiping God with a saving heart. Let me uh, start off by saying I want to appreciate the leadership of the church. I'm not a registered one uh, to, you know, to go around in top meetings. Uh, I'm an evangelist. And I want to thank God for the leadership of this church for recognizing such and recognizing my gift. Uh, I'm not someone who preach whilst looking on the camera and, uh, and, and uh, you know, with some pages to page through uh, and, and contained next to the pulpit. But I'm here today. I am going to do it. Thank you very much. I want to thank God for you, uh, the leadership of the church, uh, to have given me this uh, opportunity. I do not take this for granted. And I'm not going to walk over it with a dead hands and dead feet. Hallelujah. Worshiping God. God with a saving heart. Ha. A saving heart. Matthew chapter number 20. Verse 20 to 28. We are not going to read every verse, but we'll read a few of them. And we'll... I'll try to be quick so that I 
Because you learn every day. You learn every day to stand here and you know, have your notes, especially with this technology. Hallelujah. Amen. I had wanted to preach in Chivenda so that you can interpret in Suzulu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready? In Chivenda. Let's read. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus with her sons and kneeling down asked a favor of him. What is it you want? Jesus asked them. She said, grant that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. And Jesus answered, you do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup I'm going to drink? We can. They answered. Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink from my cup. But to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my father. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We believe in your word. We have heard so many stories. We have done so much in the house of God. But today we are faced with serving you with a saving heart. Worshipping you with a saving heart. Open our minds and hearts so that we can learn from you and you alone in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to paraphrase um, on the same chapter. Jesus said, not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be saved, but to save and to give his life as a ransom for many. Hallelujah. Amen. From the scripture that we have read, we are reading about two groups of people. They are helpers and none help us. Hallelujah. Amen. Help us Batusi. and none help us. Batusi. And today I'm going to con only concentrate on the helpers. The servants. Basebeleti. Those who are in the house of God to serve. Not to be served. Hallelujah. Amen. Not those who are here to be saved, to be pampered, to be given gifts, for their name to be announced when the announcement are made. Or, oh, 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 Poor lady. And this woman, believe you me, she had uh, she was she had a good request. Since, since you are going to your kingdom, please one of you, my son, may he sit on the right and one of and the other one on the left. This is what we want when we are living in this world. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Do you know that when God wants you to serve? Before, before you are served? Before you are served? Are you really aware? We are capella now. You know, I read another powerful story sometimes ago in a magazine, uh, magazine. Know, that magazine is called Psychology Today. They always say those people who work hard in the hospitals, you know, in the hospitals, the cleaners, those who help the poor people, those who sweep the streets, and those who clean the chairs, the chairs, those who do our washings, they were proven to be happier and healthier than those who sit and watch. Hallelujah. Meaning that saving others brings you joy, brings you happiness in your life. And that's what we call worshiping God with a saving heart. During this week, I was talking to my wife. We were remembering when we were still on the other side, when we were still staying on the other side. When we used to wake up in the morning, go to church, clean the church, uh, pack the church, Pack the chairs. Hallelujah. Amen. And we will wait for the church to go out. And we will come back to church. Pack the chairs. Clean the chairs. And we said God will reward us one day. Today look at us. We are happy people. We are happy people. When, we, when you serve. Without expecting anything without expecting any thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. But Jesus had a, a school. He wanted to school his disciples on serving. He said, let me take you to a school. He said, okay, I've got two issues. Two, three lessons that I'm going to teach you. Number one, when you serve, you must have check your motive. When you serve, check your motive. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Are you looking for a promotion? Are you looking for a promotion? Or do you want the pastor to mention your name? Why are you doing this? Because I agree most of us, if we do that, if the pastor does not say it, we will even leave the church. Hallelujah. Amen. And again, 10 years so we ten doing years these months. things, Good. even Good. a single day, Good. Muruti, Good. never Good. even say thank you. Good. Thank you, Mamu Tenda. Good. You are Good. doing Good. well. Good. He has never said that. Good. Hallelujah. Amen. Is that, that's your, that was your motive. In you my wanted people to look at you. You wanted people to say thank you. You wanted to be promoted and to be put or replaced in a program. Hallelujah. Sure. Worshipping God with a saving heart. Hallelujah. Amen. And that was chapter number one when Jesus was telling his disciples, check your mo motives. Check your motives. Check your motive. Why are you doing this? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> uh, let me give you this illustration. You know, in the world atmosphere, we all need honor. We all need the glory. And we all need power. So most of us, when we serve, we want these things. We want to be honored. We want to be glorified. We want power. If you fall within this category, you are at the wrong train. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are at the wrong train. Sip out. Puma. Hallelujah. Amen. It is hard to swallow. But there's one, one, only one character when you are in the house of God. It is to serve. Unconditionally. Unconditionally. You can clap that hand again, Mama. Clap that hand again. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Worshiping God with a saving heart. Agri, last week you were told that even when it is difficult. Last week, but I want, to, to, I want to remind you again that when you think about being a servant, you have to be aware of this. One. Number one. Be honored. I don't know how you say that in Tswanos. Experience glory. To be important. But above all, to be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. It is natural, you know, when you come into the house of God to find Pastor Ben there when he was still so much active and says to do, you know, they will receive you there. You know, and when you are, when you are at M Connect, you find uh, Brother Vaughn will, you know, he will, he will welcome you with great songs. And you feel good. But if one day you enter that door and these two people do not welcome you, what will you do? We are called to serve in the house of God. And let me also touch on this. You know, we are living in a different church community. Are you aware that we have played a role in making sure that Christ, other Christians don't come to church? Are you aware? We have helped those who want to come to church, not to come. Even those who want to repent, not to repent. We are helping them because of our behavior when we are in the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, let me touch on this one before I go here. You know, if you, if you I was to meet with Pastor Naledi, Pastor Komuso, and the rest of the pastors, what do, what do you think we will be talking about? The first thing, oh, uh, how big is your church? The second one, and how much is your budget? And how many members do you have? And how many members of a church who are working in the high position? And how many are driving these uh, latest cars? And when they finish on Monday, they, go, they look at how you are wearing. Yeah, you are wearing a nice shoes. And uh, look at your shoe. What is the name of your shoe? And if you are a lady, you are wearing a nice makeup. How much do you spend on that? So we have, we have grouped ourselves in Re classes in the house of God. In the house of God, instead of us serving, we are there to serve ourselves and to be seen by everyone. You serve here to serve the people of God, to serve the children of God, not yourself, not yourself. You know, uh, last week I told um, Pastor Naledi, myself and my wife, we ministered to, you know, different people, whether you are black, whether you are black, whether you are white, whether you are pink, we, we have got the grace to talk to these people. And one day we were talking to this family. Uh, 
This is a white family. They told us on our face. And they said to us, we are not going to go to church. You know why? Because at the church, they realized that we are wearing uh, not nice clothes. And after looking at us in those not nice clothes, they told us to clean the church. They said, you... You please remain and clean the church. And little did we know that even in our black churches, it is the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying God must not bless you. He will. You know. But yourself as a child of God, who is supposed to have a saving heart, and you say, okay, you are dressed smart, and in me, I'm not dressed the, the smart, that you want and you say to me I must be the one picking up a broom to clean is that saving I would want you to take a broom and say this is what we do here whether you've got a position whether you are, you are, you are not known in this church we are all the same hallelujah amen one day, I think it was, was it last year, we were, we were talking, me and my wife. Someone, someone was staying here. At, I think it was at M Connect. Uh, one of them was the senior people, you know, in the church. And we were shocked, me and my wife. We, I think we, we spoke about these things almost two or a week. Because... We, 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 we saw in this church. Okay, Mam Tenda is birthday. Mam Tenda on a birthday. And they took a chocolate. And someone who was not known. Who was sitting somewhere there was also birthday. They were given the same chocolate. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. You and I know. If you knew your neck a bad day, oh my God, you will bring something big. And if you knew that way, now I MC, now I MC, but out of the peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Saving God with a saving, worshiping God with a saving heart. You treat each one equally. Hey, the day is coming. Didn't you? Don't you know that the last will be How the first, and the first, and the first will be the last? Don't you know? Oh, that day is coming. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. hallelujah. Amen. And he took them to, uh, to chapter, uh, item number two. Agree? Item number two. He, he asked them about their, their motive. We'll have a but he said, okay, trouble. let me also teach you about the model. Hallelujah. Model. Model. Hallelujah. He, he said, now let me talk to you about model. Look at your model. How you do things. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are saving, when you are worshiping with a saving heart, how do you do things? Hallelujah. Amen. How do you do things? How we can do things? When I, when I come, all of you stand up. When Pastor Ben comes, Pastor ben <laughs> only, only two stand up. Hallelujah. Amen. Worshiping God with, with a saving heart. I'm about to finish. Hallelujah. Amen. The whole purpose of life, agree, you, you had Jesus, Ari, when you serve, you must be like a slave. <laughs> Do you know a slave? Yeah, Lichoba. Do you know Lichoba? <laughs> a slave is someone who's re who has no right or honor. Go there. Come here. Sit down. Stand up. Eat. Stop eating. And a slave will just follow. So Jesus is saying, we must be like slaves. Ha. Ha. Me, a slave. God help me. A slave. 
You know, Jesus went as far as showing his disciples. When the disciples, was, when the disciples gathered and they were looking, who's going, to, who's going to take the dish and wash our legs? Jesus stood up, picked up the dish, atoma. And he started washing the legs of all the disciples with behind names and small names. Known and unknown. You are worshiping God with a serving God as a slave. A slave in the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we clap hands for God? He was trying to make a point that, well, when you think you are wearing a nice jacket like this <inaudible> one, and you think you are better, you should be the least. Hallelujah. Amen. And, <laughs> you know, when you are saving, how oh, let me say, have you ever been in a place when you, you serve and you are just saving and there's no one who's saying, well done. You are this hard worker. Like, like that is humanity. I am a hard worker. Hallelujah. Amen. But you know, there was a time when I waited for thank you from my principal. She did not say a word. She kept passing this. I said, wow, so you are not, she's not going to say thank you. And uh, you know, uh, two months. Uh, no, thank you. I'm going to thank you next. Then I realized, oh my God, this is the place. And that's when God spoke to me. You are a slave. Sebeleza. In the house of God is worse. Agri, I told you that in the house of God, we look at each other. And Christians, they know even all these years. Are you aware of Christians? You are the most people who check all these little things. And you're supposed to be checking on bigger things. In serving God. With serving hearts. Ah, can Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And finally, accept, expect some misery when you are saving in the house of God. Expect some misery. Hey, did you say it correct? When you are saving in the house of God, Brother, Brother Vaughn, expect some misery. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are serving here, when you are worshiping in the house of God, here, we will call you. Prepare it for the when you will go out, you even use your money. And by the way, expect not to get that money back. Eh? And we will come. Nice suit with names. And we will sit there. And we will dine there. Right. And we finish. And I will take my wife. And leave every table, the, all the tables mixed up. And you, you, the two of you, you will make sure that place is left clean, the two of you. And when we finish, we get into our cars and we go. We will leave you here. Hallelujah. Amen. Expect some misery. And then, next week is coming. 
When you expect us to say, hey, well done, well done, well done. Well done. We will not say anything. If you expect me to say, oh, well done, Mamruti, forget it. Worshipping God with a saving heart without expecting anything. Again, I told you that last week I was taught that even when it is difficult, last week, you know, when Jesus said to this uh, mama, well, Meola was asking, you know, with a good heart. And she said, you do not know what you are asking for. Yes, sir, you do not know. You do not know what you are asking for. Hey, you, you must be able to utamaya mo. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are worshiping God with a saving heart. <laughs> You will be serving people who will not appreciate you. You serve even when there is positive, negative response. Even without a positive response. Hallelujah. Amen. You must expect disappointments when you are serving here. You must expect rejection when you are serving in the house of God. You must also expect to be misused and to be abused here. Hallelujah. Let me ask you this in closing. Where is God calling you to serve? Is there any person God is telling you or calling you to go and serve? Do you know that when you want to serve, you must ask yourself over and over again and again How and about again that is it really true that I must serve? To the point of kneeling down and scrub this carpet. If the answer that you get it's no. Step aside. And keep quiet. And we close. Hallelujah. Amen. Worshiping God with a saving heart. Today I want you to pray when you stand up here. To pray a short prayer with me. And I will request that the worship team whilst they are walking to the front that you, tell, you tell God and you say, God, change me. Change me. Don't point a finger at someone else. And say, change that person. Say, Lord, change me. Make me a person who asks of you and others. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to say this. We are serving a God of mercy. A God who does not change. But it's the mission of changing people's lives. And we are these instruments to advance the mission of Christ. We must advance the mission of Christ that of being slavery. Slavery in the work of God because he's coming soon. He's coming soon and maybe sooner than we expect. Maybe sooner than we expect. Hallelujah. Amen. We must advance this mission which is so hard but we can do it it is doable. We can do it as children of the Almighty God. Because he's the God of yesterday. 
today, tomorrow, and forevermore. A God who never changes, and He will never change. We can change, but He will never change. We can speak in better English or not, but God, Christ never changed. He remains God. Let us all stand up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you give me a mic? I'm going to call my father in Christ. Pastor Naleli, can you please come to the fourth, please? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Worship in a serving heart. Hallelujah. I'm done. I just wanted to make a closing prayer, man of God. Thank you. God bless you. Let us raise our hands up in the sky. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mother Moaka. You are Jehovah Nise, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Tzedikeni. You are Jehovah Elohim. Are so boni mudimu ya swana lwe nantati. Mawele o shemudimu aka huma ma pilabu dimba hao. Father, take us out of our comfort zone. Take us, mudimu aka ya luki leng. Din tonta o riswara lesin kasona. Rinse mudimu aka. Musarwa za sila kajeno. Oko Robert Tato ya Rona Mudimuaka. Oko Peta Haleya Hau. Mapilong Arona. May we serve you, Lord, with a heart that is willing, Mudimuaka ya Lukile, to walk under our obedience of your word, under the submission of your word this today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Roba Mudimuaka ya Lukile. Our stubbornness in us. Okotu seboro na mudimuaka. Rikeru tuwe na ntato wakaya lukile. Ule mudimu maharinga rona. Kere sebe sebe mutunya hao mudimuaka. Obane rikile baken sena mudimuaka. Rebata osebele sawe na Jehova. We give honor and glory to your name. All honor and glory belongs unto your name, Lord. Capture our hearts. Capture our spirit, our minds, Lord, to be united with Christ. We give honor and glory, Mudimuaka. Udimalibisola how Kakres de Morena. We thank you, Father, and we bless your name in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for what you have done in this place. We give honor and glory. Libitso lahao. Mudimu waka lukileng. So, chetze nzwe mba kensena. Gidi lebo ha mudimu waka. Gidi nela di atlenza hao mudimu waka lukileng. Kibana bana ba hao ntate. Basata ya maula penga bona. Ntate kia rapela ho rebeke nye na yo. Le mudimu waka. Le nzwe la hao ntate ke leba swinye ma pilong abona. Resike ba lutwa mfela mudimu waka. Imparebe ba yezi ba le nzwe la hao ntate. Obani wena o mudimu. Ntate. So che tse ba di amanka matso a bona a ke di fetuhe takatso ya pelo tsa bona o hle mo modimo wa ka ba kena nte mo ba hatambo hato ba mauto a bona a ke be sebaka sa khalalelo ya haunta te ka libitso la Kriste Morena go tla le tshompo yo hle modimo wa ka a ke di libiso go wena le tsatsing la ka jeno ka hona modimo wa ka re le rato la modimo ntate le re kopane la matsidi so mo yo halla mo ha wa haunta te I kept it so on and to a Kayaluki lame. Set a lambanaba how pili baking in a yoshi. Calibits will let La Cresta Morena. Amen and amen.